Hello techies. In the previous session, we have learned about Chat GPT API, and also we have seen how to generate API keys for Chat GPT, and also we have learned how to use Chat GPT API in other applications. Now, in this session, we will learn how to integrate Chat GPT with Power Automate Desktop. Before starting this session. Let's recap the previous session about ChatGPT API for a minute. ChatGPT API is a product of OpenAI, which is a cloud-based API that provides access to OpenAI's advanced language models, including GPT-3 and GPT-4. ChatGPT API allows developers to integrate natural language processing (NLP) capabilities into applications. And build intelligent conversational interfaces. Now, if you see over here, I'm in chart.openai.com where we interact with the chart GPT. Now, I'm going to click on new chart, and then I'm going to give some message over here. I'm going to give it the queries: What is chart GPT? And then, if you click on send, if you see over here. The chat GPT is responding. What are the queries that I have given? Right? It is responding with the text format. Now I'm going to give one more query. That is, what is Power Automate Desktop? Now, if you see over here, Power Automate Desktop is a robotic process automation tool developed by the Microsoft. Whatever the queries that we are going to give it, it is giving the response immediately within short time. Right? How can we go ahead and integrate this Chat GPT in other applications? Now, to integrate Chat GPT, we are going to use Chat GPT API. Now, let me go back to the Open AI, and then I'm going to click on Login. Once you click on Login, it will redirect to platform.openai.com/apps. Now, to generate the API keys, I'm going to select API. Let me click on that. Now it will goes for the welcome to OpenAI platform. To generate the API keys, I'm going to select personal on my right hand side, and then I'm going to click on view API keys. Now, if you see over here, it will redirect to the API keys where you are going to generate a new secret key. Let me click on the create new secret key to generate the API key. I'm going to say integrate chart GPT. Is the key name which is the optional, right? And then I'm going to click on Create Secret Key. Once the secret key has been generated, I'm going to copy this, and I am going to store this new secret key in some notepad for the future reference. All right. Now I'm going to use this API key in Power Automate Desktop. How can we go ahead and integrate Chat GPT API in other applications? Before going to do that, I'm going to click on API reference. We can get all the details from the API reference. How to use that? Now let me click on API reference. Now, as part of this tutorial, what we are going to do? We are going to use completions at the endpoint. Now, if you see over here, I'm having different models. Let me click on the model. There are different models are available in Chat GPT. Now, one of the model that I'm going to use is the completions. What is completions? Completions endpoint can be used for a wide variety of tasks by giving the input as some text or in the prompt way, or and the model will generate a text completion that attempts to match whatever the context or pattern you will give. It will it provides a simple but powerful interface to any of our models. Now to use this completion, I'm going to use. First one is the URL. You can see over here. I'm going to use URL that is https colon api dot openai dot com slash v one slash completions. Another one, if you see the method, the method is the post method which we are going to use it. Third one, we are going to use accept and content type that is in. The data should be in the application slash JSON format, and the custom headers. There is the authorization purpose which we are going to give it. That is authorization colon bearer, and then we are going to give it the 
open API key which we have just copied, right? This is the open API key I'm going to copy and then I'm going to replace in this location. But I'm going to use the same content when I'm going to use it in Invoke Web Service as part of Power Automate Desktop. Now, coming to the request body, there you can see I'm having model. The model for the completion I'm going to use text davency hyphen 003 and the prompt. This is the prompt, nothing but the text which we are going to or the query which we are going to ask to the chart GPT. Right. And then you can see max tokens. Tokens I can give from one to many. And the temperature you can see zero, top P, N, stream, and log pops, and stop. These are all the parameters which we have. Let me explain you one by one about these parameters in the request body. Model, first model. Model is the idea of the model to use. You can use the models from the list of models API to see all the available models from there. There, if you see over here, I'm having models over here, right? There you can see HTTPS api.openai.com slash v1 slash models, right? And then if you see prompt, this is the prompt which we are going to use it to give our queries or to generate the completions. Next one, max tokens. Max tokens, it is an integer format. It is a default from zero to 16 where the maximum number of tokens you can generate in the completions. There you can see max tokens, I have given it as 1000 over here, right? And then if you see the temperature, this is optional. By default, it is to set to zero to one, okay? And whenever the sampling temperature to be used, it should be between zero to two. Higher values like 0 0.1 will make the output more random while lower values like 0 0.2 will make it more focused on undeterministic. And top P is an alternative sampling with the temperature called nucleus sampling. Okay, next one, N, it is the number of completions to generate for each and every prompt. You can see over here, I have given it as one over here. All right, now if you're going for the stream, it is a Boolean over here like true or false, whether the stream back is a power, partial progress if it's set to tokens tend to be as data only okay if it is a true false that you're going to give it as boolean over there and log props it includes the log probabilities of the log props most likely tokens as well as the chosen tokens and if you see the stop over here it is a sequence of four whether the api will stop generating for the tokens or not in that case you are going to use the stop parameters and there are many more parameters are available but how can you know this is my request body now i'm going to use my completion right so that you can if you click on the completion there you can see i'm having the parameters body the same thing you can see over here the model everything which i have copied and then i'm going to use the same request body in my power automate desktop right in some of the models, if you're going to use like that, the, the parameters are available, you can copy and you can paste it into the Power Automate desktop. Now, I'm going to integrate chart GPT in Power Automate desktop. Let me go back to the Power Automate desktop. I have created a new flow with the name of chart GPT API demo with Power Automate desktop, where I'm going to integrate this Power Automate desktop with chart GPT. How can I go ahead integrate the chart GPT in Power Automate desktop. There is an action called invoke web service. Let me drag and drop this invoke web service action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this invoke web service action is to retrieve the response from the web service or web API by sending the data. Now, if you see over here, the parameters, let me go back to my text once again. There you can see the first parameter is the URL. What is the first parameter here in our Power Automate desktop in Invoke Web Service also, we are having the URL that I'm going to give HTTPS colon api.openai.com slash v1 completion because we're going to work with completions over here. If you're going to work with chart, then you will give v1 slash charts slash completion. All right, let me copy that same URL and then I'm going to give you the paste. Now, what is the method over here? I'm going to give 
post method because I'm going to give the data and then in response I'm going to get the data so I'm going to post that method and then what is the accept I'm going to give accept as application slash JSON format and the content type in response I'm going to get it as JSON format so I'm going to give it application slash JSON and the custom headers I'm going to give authorization colon bearer and I'm going to give space and after that I'm going to give my I API key which we have generated right so if you see over here I have generated this API key let me copy this and then I'm going to paste it over here now what is the request body now if you see our request body is that model prompt max tokens temperature top top hyphen P n stream log props stop so with these parameters I have created a request body and I'm going to copy the same and then I'm going to provide it in the request body in invoke web service now if you see in stop that is we are having slash n or null we are going to provide it as null over here now if you go for the advanced over here there I'm going to give encode request body as disabled because I'm going to use this body as the parameter so I don't require this so that I don't want to encode this I'm going to disable this parameter now if you see once it interacts with the chart GPT with the completions the output will be responded and it will be stored in the web service response as an output now if you see over here I have given it a prompt in a such a way I have given the text over here as say this is the text now we'll get some output response right let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output for the text say this is text right we have given the prompt out here internally now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and it is trying to execute invoke web service action with the prompt as say this is text right you can see the status code the status code 200 nothing but the request and response has received successfully now if you see the output has been stored in the web service response let me click on that now if you see we got some response from the chart GPT by using API keys as part of integrate chart GPT with power automate desktop there you can see how can we say it has been interacted if you see over here I'm having the model text Diamond C003 and the choices you can see over here this is the text format right you can see this is indeed a text now we got some response from the chart GPT API right now let me click on close now I don't want in such a way that I want to hard code the prompt now whenever I'm going to give the input I want to get a response and then we have to display in the message box for that what I'm going to do I'm going to use display input text dialog onto the workspace before invoke web service now for the display input dialogs I'm going to give the parameters input dialog title so I'm going to give it as ask your query to chart GPT this is my input dialog title and then if you see over here the variables produce I don't want to use the button press after button pressing so that what I'm going to do I'm going to disable this and I'm just going to use this display input title dialog as only the user input and then I'm going to click on save now this user input I have to pass to the open API chart GPT right so that I'm going to double click on the invoke web service and then over here in the prompt I'm going to delete this say this is the text and I'm going to give the user input from the variable that is user input as the variable I'm going to select the variable flow variable as user input and then I'm going to click on save now what it will do it will take the input from the display input dialog and then it will pass to the chart JPI in response it will get as an output in JSON format now to convert that JSON I'm going to use convert JSON to custom object as an action now let me drag and drop this convert JSON to custom object which it will convert the JSON format into the custom object 
right so as a response of the invoke web service we are going to get it web service response in json format which we are going to convert into the custom object by using convert json to custom object let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace now if you see the parameters of the convert json to custom object i am having json format right what is the variable which i need to get it that is web service response is the output right it will convert this web service response output into the custom object that will be stored in json as custom object let me click on save now to show the output i'm going to use display message action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace i'm going to give the message box title as chat gpt response and then if you see the message box to display what is the message box to display i'm going to take the output from json custom object right i'm going to select json custom object in json as custom object we are having different outputs over there like in a such a way we are having different parameters so which one i have to select i have to get choices over there in choices again we may have different outputs but if you see over here in our request body we have given n as 1 so that we will get only one so in that response i'm going to give it as index over here as 0 if you have multiple in that case you are going to give it as 0 1 2 3 and so on at the index now from the choices again i need to get the text as an output to display in the message box or in display message right so that i'm going to give the message to display as json as custom object hot brackets with single quotes choices is the parameter which we have and inside our parameters choices we are having different indexes or different outputs as multiple outputs so that as of now n i have given it as 1 so that i'm going to take it as index of 0 over here and the text is an output i'm going to get it right so that once the response has been given from the invoke web service i'm going to get the data and then i'm going to display in the display message action all right let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started as a first action you can see display input dialog we have to ask your query to the jar gpt right what is the query that i'm going to ask what is power automate desktop and then i'm going to click on okay now the input will be given to the invoke web service which i have given it as a prompt and then as a response we'll get the output that is web service response which it will be stored in that and then it will converts into the json object into custom object and then it will be displayed in the display message there you can see i'm having the output over here power automate desktop is a windows based automation tool that enables user to automate manual tasks and process this is the output which we got it from the invoke web services all right now let me click on okay all right i hope you understand what is chat gpt what is chat gpt api and also we have learned how to generate api keys and finally we have seen how to integrate chat gpt with power automate desktop as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate desktop tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day